Good morning guys, so I just rolled out of bed not too long ago and I wanted to actually start off the video by letting you guys know that EHP Labs is currently running like a once in a lifetime deal through me specifically where basically if you go to this link provided here you can buy one protein tub and get a second one for free. This is not something that happens very often. It's actually something that never happens. I think the only time they've had something similar was it was buy one and get another tub for a dollar. So it's a really, really awesome deal. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to try OxyWay, but you wanted to make sure that you were getting your values worth. And I think that if that's something that's been a concern for you, now is the time to do it. The deal is only lasting another three days or so. I've already been promoting it on Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram, but I want to let you guys know that quickly on YouTube so buy one get one free and you just put in a protein tub and you enter the discount code think jazzy you're welcome and yeah that'll get you a free protein tub I have the delicious chocolate one here I do really like this one but my two favorite flavors are the mocha and strawberry milkshake that's my go-to so that's it wanted to just tell you guys that quickly let me know if you end up getting it or if you have any questions comment them below Let's carry on with this video. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So my last video did super amazing um, in terms of my, my honest chat with you guys. I was really, really, really nervous that it would be misinterpreted and I mentioned that in the video because I feel that the things that I talked about, um, people could take the wrong way if they wanted to and uh, just take it as something else and get super offended by it and it does not seem like a single person has done that and the response has been amazing. Okay. Hello, thank there you. Are. You're very welcome. I was really, really excited that you guys all understood everything that I said and, and took it with the best, um, I don't know, just took it the best way you could. So anyway, today is my aunt's last day in Toronto, so we're gonna enjoy it. There won't be any training, for, actually there may be old training footage I'll put in there, but it won't be like from today. And so we're just enjoying the last day. We went to our favorite breakfast spot called Expectations. I'll show you guys what I got when I get it. Today will just be like a fun little day in the life. You guys will get to see kind of how I've been eating. And then at the end of the video or towards the middle, um, Omar and I will do the Q&A of, or no, yes. Omar and I will do the Q&A of like everything cutting wise and how I took my approach and everything. So anyway, that's what's going on. I'll show you guys my food when it gets here, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Just got a smoothie. It has mango, pineapple, and I think orange juice and something else I cannot remember, but it tastes really good, and I love it. Just got breakfast, so this is called the extravaganza or something like that, and it basically is two fresh pieces of French toast. I got uh, my eggs over easy, it's my favorite way to eat them, some Canadian maple syrup, a little bit of bacon, and a whole bunch of fresh fruit. My aunt pretty much got the same thing, but she got the sausages instead. So this is what I consider an amazing bulking breakfast. ice cream on top and burnt marshmallow on bottom on a plain cone. We are at the infamous Ed's Real Scoop. There's a little girl who's just staring at me. <laughs> High five. Welcome on, Omar Isa. Don't touch my I'm so sorry. Check out Omar Isa's channel. <laughs> Why are you putting a hat? Getting stressed out. I need to hide. <laughs> oh fuck. Internal temperature is too high. What the fuck does that mean? Welcome it's not me that you have to apologize to. I'm gonna fight to. you. So for someone who is just... <laughs> Why do you have to look at me like that? I'm just giving you a straight look. And no, you're smirking. Straight face, gun on my waist. For someone who is doing a cut for the first time, what would you recommend them to do in terms... Why?
What's up guys? So welcome to this part of the video. <laughs> welcome. I know a lot of you guys have been interested in this based off your response in the last video for the cut is done. So I told you guys in that video that I would bring Omar Isaf onto the channel so that he could answer some of your guys' frequently asked questions about kind of starting a cut, how I did it, what's the best way to maintain strength, all of that. So Omar, why, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, thanks for having me on. I'm happy to do this collab. Uh, I am a Expect strength coach. Expect to get coach. minimum 5,000 subscribers in the next two minutes. Because uh, you're huge. This so. is a big opportunity. I will be sure to fuck it up. I'm glad to be on here, guys, uh, answering the questions that Jazz said. You uh, have... I, I have to be honest, I didn't write down any of the questions. Is this your water? <laughs> the number one question I get is how do you cut? Or what is cutting? How do you go about it? How do you figure out how to cut calories and figure out your macros? All that jazz. Yeah, so there's actually a variety of ways uh, that you can use tools in order to calculate the calories you need to consume in order to lose weight. A lot of resources you could find online. Basically, what you want to do is eat less calories than your body needs. Mm -hmm. And so, typically, for most individuals, as long as you're relatively lean, what does that mean? Uh, you know, anywhere for females below around 30% body fat. Right. And so, you know, that for most of you out there, that totally applies. What you want to do then is one gram per pound of body weight of protein, uh, roughly, or you could do one gram per pound of target body weight. So if you're 125, you got either do 125 or 110 if that's Which your goal. Uh, for fats, it would be 0.3 uh, grams to about 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. Mm -hmm. And then for carbs, you could start at around 1.5 grams uh, per pound of body weight, just as a rough indicator what you should be eating every single day, see how your body you know, changes over time, and then gradually adjust from there. If you want to be in a caloric deficit then, that would be roughly your maintenance amount of calories you need to consume every day just to stay the same body weight. Uh, you'd consume just like a couple hundred calories less than that every single day. So start with uh, 200 calories less, where are you going to take away those calories? Well, probably first to start from your carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So you'd reduce your carbohydrates. I'd uh, start maybe the first week by 25, 30, or even 35 grams. So that'd be 100 to 125, 150 calories mm -hmm. uh, less than your maintenance. And from there, you should slowly start losing weight uh, towards maybe a pound a week. Basically do macro calculators work. And I'm going to quickly say, generally speaking, I think they're usually garbage, right? They're just basic calculations that aren't really personalized to you. But what I can say is I have used one macro calculator and it was Katie Hearns um, and I'll leave the website linked below. It did actually produce pretty um, accurate results for like the macros that he gave me. Now I'm going to quickly ask you, even it's okay if you completely counter what I said, but go ahead because I think it'll be... A good I think thing. it's a good rough uh, approximation for most people out there. A lot of the calculators that you'll find, but again, you do need to customize. Right. Two people at the same body weight with the same training age, experience, all that stuff will need to probably consume a different amount of calories, a different right. ratio too, right? Sure, when we talk course. about ratio, it's the amount of protein that you have, then the carbs and the fats. Typically, the protein's usually the same for most people, mm -hmm. it's the carbs and the fats. But even if it's factoring in how many workouts a week, how old you are, all of that, you think that it's still, and it calculates your BMR, do you still think they wouldn't be as accurate of a calculator? I think they could be pretty accurate to okay. start, and then you gotta And then you can just kind of work from there, exactly. Yeah. So you can, if you you are someone that's just looking for some immediate guidance, start with that, see how it goes, and then you'll be able to tell by the way your weight fluctuates and how you're feeling if those macros work for you. Cool, okay. Another question that I got pretty frequently was how do you manage to either maintain strength or build strength while you're in a caloric deficit? It's impossible. It doesn't happen. Just give My up. Lift was, Just stop lifting. It was a 226 pound squat, went down to what, 25 pounds? That's being generous. Answer the question. Oh, I mean, um. Did you just touch me? <laughs> you just slapped my arm? Answer the question. You know what? You're getting timed out. You can sit over there. I'll take this over. It all depends upon where you guys. How you doing over there? Doing great. Hey! Keep it down. They're gonna think you're actually an asshole. That's fine. <laughs> They're gonna be like, don't bring this guy on your channel anymore. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, when you're uh, cutting, it's pretty damn hard to maintain your strength, uh, much less try and improve it, but it depends upon how far you're into your training. Right. If you're a beginner, uh, just starting out and you also need to lose weight, it actually would be quite easy to increase your strength because mm -hmm. you're just starting out, you got that new base. Gains. Yeah, those newbie gains. As you're an intermediate lifter, I classify you like shifting towards that, right? like an intermediate lifter. Uh, what happens, it becomes harder and harder while you're in that deficit because you don't have as much calories mm -hmm. in order to uh, you know, maintain or increase your strength. But you did a great job and the secret behind that was a small deficit mm -hmm. over a prolonged period of time. Right. Uh, making sure the macro ratio was appropriate for you. Exactly. So you had enough energy, you felt good, 
Uh, and then proper programming. So when you're trying to lose weight, your amount of volume that you handle, which means the total amount of work you do in a workout has to be a little bit less. Why? Because you have a little less energy. So you just gotta be smart about it. You just gotta program it well. I would say typically train a little bit less your total amount of uh, strength sets that you do. Mm -hmm. Focus on trying to maintain that strength. So train in that 70 to 85% of your one rep max range. Okay. Uh, and then just incorporate cardio on top of that. You could do some fun conditioning work outside of your normal workouts. Right. But just be aware of that volume that really near the end where you get very grindy, you're very lethargic because probably you're low carbing it. It'll exactly. become harder and harder. So just manage that volume. <sighs> so how do you cut without losing <clears throat> muscle. I know that you actually recently addressed this in a Q&A as well. No. If you want to maintain your muscle mass, it is quite hard when you're trying to lose weight. Why? Because from a metabolic standpoint, your muscle is quite costly. Mm -hmm. uh, your body basically wants to get rid of it. It costs a lot of calories. So you need to really focus on strength training, right? Trying to get stronger and maintain your current strength. Really push that volume and push yourself in the gym. It becomes even more important when you're trying to lose weight to go harder in the gym because your body wants to get rid of that muscle. I'm sorry, my foot. What are you doing? Alma Galvez asked, how did you determine how much cardio to do and did you track this for time slash calories at a certain <clears> intensity? Yeah, that's a good question. What you want to do when it comes to cardio, because your body's pretty smart and it'll adapt over time, is slowly introduce it. So what you'll see if we break up a fat loss phase into 16 week, let's say block, which mm -hmm. is uh, pretty normal, 12 to 16 weeks. She did it around 16 to 18 weeks. Yeah, it took, it took um, nice and slow. Let's say it's like 16 weeks, which is normal. First four weeks, you do pretty much nothing. Just focus on getting 10,000 uh, steps every single day, maybe doing one session of slow, steady state cardio, like 30 minutes, second and third week, maybe a second session in the uh, fourth week you add on then from there you just add slowly uh, so you'd add one high intensity interval training right. session uh, keep going that way till maximum probably you do uh, in addition to your 10,000 steps three to four times per week low intensity steady state cardio and then two to three times a week high intensity interval that's training. what I pretty much did in my last few weeks Emma Williams asked when you first started your cut how many untracked slash cheat meals slash refeed meals slash days did you give yourself so uh, Jazz actually didn't have any planned cheat days because she cheated naturally uh, quite a bit actually <laughs> What? Uh, two cheat meals are incorporating what I like to call refeed days. Mm -hmm. Depends upon the individual from a psychological uh, perspective. They could be quite healthy because they give you a mental break from cutting, trying to lose weight. I like to reserve them once you're really into the cut. So at sure. least like a few weeks in mm -hmm. and I would space them out every few weeks, every two weeks. Sure. Uh, it'd probably be a Friday or Saturday when you feel comfortable and you'd have a planned refeed plan foods you want to eat. It's not just a day to YOLO and eat whatever the fuck you want. Because before you know it, you ate a whole fucking tub of ice cream. You're watching like a whole season of Friends. Shit's just going downhill. Does this sound typical for you? Or maybe new girl for you? I can't say. That you've done that? I can't say I've done that. Um, let me think. Go to maybe a dessert place like 12 or 13 <laughs> times. What? No. Same one where they know you now on a first name basis. <laughs> no. Uh, Cat 70 comes to mind for a moment, but I've only been there 12 times. So for you guys, you want to space it out, I would say every two weeks, and how many extra calories would you consume? It's how uh, far or how deep your deficit is, but around like 500 to maybe 1,000. Keep in mind if you are uh, cutting, trying to lose weight, every single day you're probably a few hundred calories below what you need. So if you do two weeks, you probably are like 7,000 calories in the hole. Right. So eating an additional 500, 750, or even 1,000 calories on one day. is not going to ruin yeah. you. Yeah. Kristen Milang asked, how much should you cut calories and increase cardio each week when going through a cut that slowly? Hey, why don't you uh, tell your subscribers right here why your whole house is full of uh, junk food right here? Huh? Just because I have one hey, what, uh, package of Oreos. One. Oh, you have one package. Oh, I already ate the two packages of birthday cake Oreos. Anyways, uh, for those that want to try and lose weight, you want to start your calories as high as possible. We can use Jazz as an example. We will. Uh, she's a good resource. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you actually going to eat some Oreos? Here, 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 here. Are you actually? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I got you. Just fucking relax. Yep. Oh, they're stale. No, they're not yeah, stale. Yeah, I kept it open all day yesterday. They're definitely stale. They're not stale. Bite into it. I'm not going to bite into it. I'm not going to bite into it. Bite into it. I'm going to look like I ate some shit. Watch. Oh, yeah, it's stale. <laughs> look at, look, watch the way it breaks. Oh. Okay. So for you guys out there that want to try and lose weight, you want to keep your calories as high as possible to start. Uh, we can use Jazz as an example. We had our calories at around 1,800 calories to start. What the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face. 
Now I'm putting you back in detention. You're going back over there. It started at around 1,800 calories. Uh, by the end, it was around 1,300 calories. So that represents 500 calories less. And if you look at 16 weeks, it took roughly 16 to 18 weeks for transformation. That's about 40 to 50 calories you invest over there. 40 to 50 calories. <laughs> Per week that you're reducing. So if you start at around 1800 calories next week, it'd be 1750 for week two, <laughs> 1700 for week three, um, and then you would just keep it at, the, at that amount. What you want to make sure you do, however, is not dip your calories too low because then you'll see it. You will notice if you dip your calories too low that it will affect performance negatively. So you want to keep your calories as high as possible. And, but you want to be sure that your training goes well. So if your calories are too low, training will be affected. Training is most important. Make sure you're hitting your numbers and then adjust your calories accordingly if you think you can go a little lower. All right, you guys. So that concludes this q and I hope you just put on your glasses so you can take so them I off. Just so I could do that. Thank you so much for being on the channel. Thanks for having me. What are we doing here? Nux. You got it. All right. <laughs> Flare it. <laughs> yeah. So you can check out Omar in the links provided below. His Instagram is Omar Isuf, I-S-U-F. Thanks for being on. Thanks, man, for having me. So guys, that's the end of this video. I you hope said that you guys, that <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, <laughs> make sure to like the damn video. <laughs> and I'll be seeing all you guys. My flourish people, no. flower people. Not, no. They're not rascals. They're not? No, they're not my subscribers. Oh. This <laughs> is awkward. My rascals in that next video. Would not you? not rascal, R-A-S-K-O-L. <laughs> I would not steal from your brand. That would totally be fucked up. Not cool, bro. S. C-A-L. My rascals. Like, my little rascals. Like the movie. Not the little rascals. In that next video. Peace. Peace. Stay with me. Peace. Alright. Turn it off. <laughs> You're gonna fucking eat your soul.